so this season generally has a few hidden gems or they're usually overshadowed by a few other things that have came on this season firstly a sort of darker toned series would be the world's finest assassin most people might have generally overlooked this show mainly due to this honestly been way too many isekais but surprisingly it's a rather interesting watch so firstly of the hidden gems we'll be talking about world's finest assassin i'm not even going to attempt to say the proper japanese name or well i'm assuming it's the light novel's name because i'm just going to absolutely butcher it but the general grasp of this show is someone from the human world more or less basically gets isekai into another world where might and magic is generally a real thing where magic and other phenomena are a natural occurrence but without generally spoiling too much it's just mainly a story of an assassin basically being sent into another world to kill a hero one other thing about the assassin isekai is it sort of generally dabbles into more of the darker regions that most of these isekai shows generally don't for example in one of the most recent episodes it went extremely dark but i'll leave it at that now secondly of these hidden gems would be 86 which a lot of people generally would have overall missed out on with sort of a simplistic grasp of the actual story would be literally a group of individuals literally fighting for their life against a technically unknown threat since as far as i know of we don't particularly know where these the robots are coming from but hopefully people aren't sleeping on this because overall it's quite gritty in areas and it definitely is worth a watch and from the overall critics look of it it's generally rated fairly highly i'm generally hoping that this next gem i'll be talking about is overall a hidden gem it's the faraway paladin surprisingly it, it turned out to be another isekai which they honestly didn't have to pretty much do because overall it generally seemed like a well-grounded show as of what we're generally watching now let's generally hope that the next few episodes make it a decent show this season Also, for anyone who generally likes a slice of life, the Banished from the Harris Party, I decided to live a quiet life in the countryside, was overall quite a surprising series for me to check out. Just the name in general sort of piqued my interest. And overall, it turned to be quite a wholesome ish show and so far it's possibly one of them I look forward to on that whole slice of life aspect and most of you will be watching this series or i i possibly think you will the shoko tensei if people watch the first season they generally understand why a lot of a lot of other people are watching or carrying watching it the follow-up second series well technically it would be season one part two it's just well written including people's traumas the characters are written overall flawed nobody's a a Mary Sue so for example someone can be extremely broken or OP 
but doesn't mean that they've got the mental fortitude. And the one show, Bar M Mishoku Tensei, that has me generally like wanting to, or waiting to, to watch it would be Ranking of Kings. It seems like it's a potential passing project from the studio. Both the overall voice acting and the animation, in my opinion, are great. And in parts this shows so wholesome that you'd root for the main character. I hope a lot of people don't avoid a ranking of kings because it's its storytelling is quite a bit different from many other shows this season which is overall a nice change of pace and if you haven't heard of any of these shows from this season I hope uh, my recommendations made you check them out and make sure to have a wonderful day or night everybody and I'll see you around